Hi everyone, uh, I'm going to be teaching you how to play rounders today. Um, it's kind of similar game to baseball or softball and I might go through a few of the variations and what makes it different but this is focused on how to play the English game rounders. Okay, so first of all, um, how are you going to set up the field? So you're going to have in the centre, you'll mark a space, this is where the bowler is going to throw the ball. There'll be a space where the batter stands and then in a diamond shape there'll be the uh, three uh, bases, so one, two, three, but the fourth base is going to be in line with where the batter started. Okay? In baseball this would be uh, back to the start again, but in rounders it's just to the side, so they come down in a straight line there. Okay? And then you're going to have to add the players to this. So the bowler is going to stand in the middle square there, and he's going to be one that, that starts. You'll need someone standing behind the batter, ready to catch the ball if they miss it, and throw it back to the team. You'll have uh, four players on each base, ready to um, catch the ball and try and catch a player out. Um, and then the rest of the players are going to all be fielders, okay? And then of course in the other team you'll have one player who's going to start as the batter and then all of the other players are going to line up uh, ready to bat next, okay? To be the one to, to step up to bat next after the batter leaves that the first post, okay? Okay, and then obviously for equipment, uh, you'll need a tennis ball or other similar ball to use and a rounders bat. Now, um, different to baseball, again, it's slightly smaller and this will only be held in one hand. Okay, so players don't hold it like this, they just hold it in one hand, their right or the left, whichever is stronger. Okay, because in baseball it's a larger bat and the players would hold it with two hands and take a good swing at it. Okay, so the basic aim of the game is for the player to hit the ball as far as possible and touch all of the bases and get home, okay? If they get back here, they score one point, okay? If they do this all within one turn, then that will count as two points. So let's just see how that's going to work. So the ball is going to throw the ball, and now this should be uh, thrown underarm uh, between waist, and it should get to the, to the batter between waist and neck height, okay? And they're going to be able to hit it, so quite a good hit. They're going to hit over here, and then they drop the bat onto the floor, and then they can start running to the bases, okay? So let's say they make it here, and this fielder is going to run and grab the ball. Now, a player can be out for a lot of different reasons in rounders. Firstly, if they hit it and it's in the air and the ball is caught by one of the fielders, that player would be out. Secondly, if they are running to a base and uh, the ball is thrown to the person and they're touching both the base and they're holding the ball and the player is running in between them, then they would also be out, okay? So then that player then there, since they tried to run to the second base but they didn't get there in time, then that player is now going to be out, okay? So, and then they'll return it to the bowler, and the next batter's going to step up. So again, they're going to hit the ball, a really good shot over here, and they're going to run around some of the bases. So they're going to run to one and two, and then they've got to throw it to the third one, and that just means that this player can't run to the third base anymore. They've already touched it, okay? And that one is, uh, yeah, that means they're going to have to stay at that second base, okay? Then the next batter will step up, and now, as soon as this ball leaves the bowler's hands, uh, this batter is free to carry on running, try and make it back to the third and even the fourth base, okay? But they can also stay there, so if they, if they see it's not going to be a very good shot, so they might hit it and it's not a very good shot, it's only going to land here, they can actually stay on that base, okay? And now that player's going to run to here, okay? And then the third batter is going to, or the fourth batter is going to step up, okay? So now, um, you cannot have more than one player at a uh, base at the same time. So if this player hits it, um, then they have to run and that player can actually has to leave the base and then this player will also have to leave the base. If two players are at the same base at the same time, then they're both out, okay? So let's say this player hits it, it's going to go over here somewhere and then this player is going to run to the third base, this player is going to run to the fourth base and then this player is going to run and make it to the first base before, again, they're going to touch the bases so that the players can't run any further, okay? So that's it really, it's, it's, uh, it's actually a very simple game. Um, and then so yeah so again they, they just keep throwing the ball they keep hitting it and great eventually the players so now they're going to start scoring points so they might you know a couple of them might back, make it back that turn uh, he's going to make it here he's going to make it here and then that team would score two points okay so yeah really really simple um, once three players are out then the two the two teams will swap roles so the defending team will become the uh, the batters and the batting team will will, will be uh, fielding for the next turn okay you should do maybe three rounds for each team to bat and then afterwards you just add up the scores and uh, yeah, see which team's the winner.